let's cover the history of the online game Neopets. The year is 1997. Adam Powell, a student at Nottingham University, thinks about making a virtual pet game. Two years later, he shares this idea with Donna Williams and they start programming. On November 15, 1999, Neopets.com launches. By December, Neopets logs 600,000 page views a day. Pets like the Jib Jib can explore the world of Neopia all in your browser. Doug Doring, an American businessman, buys a majority share of Neopets a month later. The team of what is now Neopets Incorporated brings on lawyers and the site is scrubbed of copyright infringing material. This means goodbye to the Macy Gray and Bruce Forsyth pets. The Jib Jib becomes the Jub Jub. The Loop and Elefante species are released on January 13th. New species are regularly released until 2006. The game implements advertising through a method called Called immersive advertising where the ads are integrated into game content. It's kind of controversial. Other core features of the site developed in the first year are a bank, safety deposit box, beauty contest, and fighting arena. The company relocates to America but retains British influence, ruining a generation for spelling things like gray and fairy. More pets and features are added daily. By June 29th, there are 1 million Neopets accounts, meaning the time is finally right for Dr. Sloth to kidnap the space fairy. The Virtue Pets plot, a site-wide event that lasted nine days in August 2000, was the first plot the Neopets team would orchestrate. There will be more than 30 plots, and Dr. Sloth remains a pop culture icon. By October 2000, there are 5 million Neopets all trying to figure out what species Dr. Sloth is. Starting November 23rd, they can discuss him while following their secret laboratory map to get zapped once a day. The library can transform your pet into almost any color, species, and sex. Happy first birthday, Neopets. On December 19th, there are 5 million accounts. The year is now 2001. The Neopian Pound opens. There are 10 million Neopets. Inventories cap out at 50 items. Tyrania is discovered, which means free omelet once a day for all chomby kind. Dr. Sloth has another plot, and when it's over in July, there are 20 million Neopets. NeoQuest launches, which is perfect for if you want to reload web pages all day for several consecutive days. On to 2002. The baby paintbrush now exists, and every 13-year-old ever puts it to the top of their wish list. The Drake is introduced, becoming the second item on that wish list. Meridel and the Darien Citadel go to war. Bucci starts prowling the site in 2003 with his baby zapping ray. The Neo boards replace the Neo chat so everyone can discuss how perfect the new Yuzuki girl and Yuzuki boy pet colors are. The Neo Pets magazine, a real-life physical item, is published. On the topic of real-life physical things, you can get Neo Pets trading cards published by Wizards of the Coast. It's 2004 and Neopets plushies are in McDonald's Happy Meals. The royal color is released, superseding only the baby paintbrush in desirability. Especially lucky secret laboratory zaps will turn a royal girl or royal boy painted Neopet into the opposite sex. The Curse of Morocco plot is almost enough to distract from Viacom purchasing Neopets in June 2005. Neopets is purchased for $160 million. According to Neopets in a Bloomberg News article, 39% of the site's users are younger than 13, and 40% are between 13 and 17 years old. And the site gets more than 5 billion page views a month. Things are going well at Viacom. Avatar The Last Airbender premieres this year. Neopets are everywhere. You can purchase plushies at Limited 2 and Target. The Darkest Fairy PlayStation 2 game releases. The next game release is The Wand of Wishing in 2006. Altador is released. Lutoris happen and then Lutori Island kind of happens, but only to some mobile users. And it's never brought back ever again. The Haunted Woods wins the first Altador Cup and the Chef Banjo avatar is technically released. The method of unlocking that avatar isn't discovered for three years. It's 2007 and you are not prepared. No one is. The entire website layout is overhauled and every pet species has their art revamped. You can now dress up your Neopets. This is a largely unpopular move. Neovision kind of launches and then the Neocash Mall opens. The Neopian Pound closes for a feature overhaul. The Pound reopens in 2008 with a transfer feature, single-handedly validating the pet transfer economy. KeyQuest, an online board game, launches. 2009 was a slow year. Some maps got revamped and Neovision was finally shut down. Maltara is now a place. Habitarium enters testing in 2010 and some more Neopets colors are released. Fairyland crashes to the ground and many maps are updated. The fairy caverns are located in 2011. Neopet hits 1 trillion page views. Treasure Keepers enters mobile testing in August and is discontinued in December. Some users find the forgotten shore. 2012 gives premium users the ability to own up to 5 Neopets at once. The color Stealthy is released and the Battledom is closed for renovations. 
The new Battle Dome opens in 2013. The war for the obelisk breaks out and becomes a bi-weekly event. In February 2014, owner of Neopets transfers from Viacom to Jumpstart. Habitarium is removed from the site, ending four years of manufacturing Neopoints. A new species, the Vandegeier, becomes the first new species of Neopets since 2006. Pets now give their owners a special cupcake on their birthday. The app, Ghoul Catchers, is released. Trudy's surprise goes live because the economy doesn't really matter anyways. On March 6, 2015, a majority of their remaining Neopets team staff is laid off. During a server transition in June, the Neobard filters go down for a weekend. Naughty language runs rampant. On November 9th, an item that strangely resembles a piece of fan art goes live as an official item. While this is admittedly an anticlimactic end, the site's update cadence has declined steadily since 2011. Pet sites inspired by Neopets are finding success in the niche it leaves behind, like Leopets, Flight Rising, and Clanheart. More games are launching all the time, all due to the genre Adam and Donna forged. Phew! This was a lot of work to get together. Shout out to Jelly and Neo for their comprehensive Book of Ages. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I've made other Neopets videos that you might want to check out, like me taking on the lever of doom and my stock market guide. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks! Bye!